Gigi. Jump back. Chi? Chi, are you okay? Chi? Chi, what is it? Are you are you okay? Chi, talk to me now. What happened to you? Sorry. What is it? Water. You're thirsty. I can't get water. Don't worry. Just try. Try. I told you I will come back. Try to know how we we'll leave you alone. Okay? Sorry. I'm always here for you. Nothing will happen to you. Thank you. You're welcome. I brought food for you. You're hungry, right? So you eat. Sit. So you eat. <clears throat> Chinelo! Chinelo! Oh God! God, please do not let me to do it, Chinelo, please! God, please, I beg of you, please, Chinelo! Chinelo, please! God, please, I beg of you, please, God! Chinelo, please open your eyes! Chinelo! Chinelo! God! God, please, I need you now, please, I need you now! I need you now, please! Chi, please don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. Please don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. Please, I beg of you, don't do this to me. Chi, do not leave me alone. Oh, God. Driver, what are you waiting for? Please drive fast now. Drive fast, please. Drive fast, please now. Drive. Chi, 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 not to happen to you, okay? Chi, not to happen to you, not to happen to you. Driver, please be fast, be fast. I beg you in the name of God, be fast. Doctor Oti, <laughs> my prince. <laughs> Happy to have you here. Thank you very much. It's been a long time. Oh yes, I've been um, very busy with the royal affairs. You know, helping my father out. So, you know how it is. So what do we owe this visit? All right, Dr. Oti, you know me very well. I'm a humanitarian. I've been going around um, the kingdom. I've visited some motherless babies' home, some hospitals, and now I'm here. So I want you to give me a list of the patients you have here. Um, I want to offset bills. I want to take care of people who cannot pay their bills and also the ones who are here to um, take care of themselves. All right. So give me a list of that so that um, we can know how to um, take care of them from there. I am, I am so happy to hear this. I am, I am, I am delighted. I am, <laughs> I am, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to say, but may God bless you. Amen. Chai, 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 chai. <laughs> My prince, my so, prince. Yes. Let me, uh, let me find uh, a comprehensive list, and then I definitely I will take you around so that you see some of the patients. Of course, I would like to go there at least get to meet with them, call, have a little conversation with them if I can, 
feel their pain. Once again, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Oti. My praise. <laughs> Dr. Oti. <Hey. laughs> My praise. Y young lady, put yourself together. Just wait here. I'll possibly go to the reception. You cannot go in with me. Your friend will be fine. Dr. Ship, she's my friend. I have to. I didn't say she's not your friend. The best thing you can do for your friend right now is to go to the reception and pray for her. Why would I attend to her? Let us do the medical work and go to the reception and pray for her. <laughs> Are we done? All right. Doctor, please. Please, just have to do everything to save her life. Please, don't allow her to die. Please. If I'm not doing anything, I won't be discussing with you. I won't be going in there to attend to her. Please. Young lady, Hi, doctor. are you still here? Yes, doctor. How is she? She's fine. She's okay. Thank you, Jesus. She's okay, but she needs rest. Can I see her now, please? No, no, no. You're not going to see her. You can't. She needs enough rest. I know, doctor. Just allow me to see her. Would you want her to be healed or would you want to see her? Which one do you want? I want her healed. What you can do right now is to follow me to my office, not to see her. There are a few things I need to tell you. Can we? Sure. All right. Doctor, what is wrong with her? Is she going to leave? I don't know where to start from. I don't know where to start from, but honestly, she's going to leave. Her condition is so great. What she needs now is immediate medical attention. I don't understand. You just assured me that she's not going to die. What is the other thing that you're saying that needs medical, medical attention? I mean, urgent attention. I don't, I don't get it. What is wrong with her? There is what we call blood cluster. It is as a result of internal bleeding. It is something very difficult, something we're trying to manage. And this thing has damaged what we call the bladder. That is what we call bladder damage. We're finding it very difficult to operate on her because she has shortage of blood. <laughs> now, I want you to pull yourself together. Because right now, she needs blood transfusion. And you need to make a deposit of 125,000. The money is not a problem. The money is not a problem. I will pay. Just make sure, make sure she doesn't die, please. All you need to do is to go to the cashier and make some deposit. Then we can commence treatment immediately. Okay. Our situation is not something we can waste time. It's not something we can begin to play about with. It's something that is very critical. We need to start medical attention right now. We need to start treatment. Dr. Oti. My prince. What's wrong with the patient in Ward 5? Uh, my, my prince, uh, she, she has a damaged bladder that requires immediate operation. The only problem we're having right now is that she is running shortage of blood. So we, we need to operate her immediately, but that shortage is making it difficult for us to operate on her. Now why not do a blood transfusion? My prince, we don't have, we don't have a match in our blood bank. They contacted the blood banks for a match. I'll pay for it. It's a case of emergency, so they have to deliver it immediately. My prince, it's not as easy as we think, but I will, I will do my best to see uh, we'll fix it. I'll, I'll make some contact. Dr. Oti, you need to do this as soon as possible. The woman I saw in there is in severe pain. I understand. I, I, I've been the one administering her, so I know exactly what is going on. 
So I'll do my best. Please, do your best. Thank you, my prince. <sighs> hey, my prince, one more thing. I I was trying to... Um, you need to calm down, madam. Just, just calm down. I understand, I understand what you're passing through. Just calm down. But you also need to understand that the donor you brought, we can't use the blood. We can't. Why? What do you mean, doctor? She never shows the same blood group with her hand. That's why I brought it. I know. We, we, we screened it. We, we, we saw it. But there's a problem. Jesus. He has... <laughs> Hold on, let me explain to you so that you won't think we're joking here. I know it's a very critical point. Just calm down. He has hepatitis B, which is very difficult for us to use his blood. But don't worry, we are making contact. We are calling. If I've even called the nearest hospital. They say they do not have it. I'm still making contact to make sure that we get a very perfect match. Yes, you have to say that. You have to do something. You have to save Chinella's life. Please, don't let her die. She's like a sister to me. She has so much, so much. For her to die without a moment of happiness, please. Yes. She's too good. She's the only survivor child. I am doing my best. You have to do more. You have to do more. I am still going to make some calls before you right now. Just calm down. Don't put yourself in this in this kind of condition. So I won't have two people having the same issues. Just calm down. I'm still going to make some calls before you so that you understand what I'm saying. Maybe call uh, another hospital of uh, a friend of mine. Just hold on. Please, I... Come in, come in. Ah, oh, Josie, my prince. The woman who will fight for still crying. Why has she not been attended? I am, I am so sorry. I, I don't know how to start. I don't know how to start. Honestly, I've, I've made calls. The nearest hospital that I believe should have had that particular blood group do not have it. You know, it's very, very rare for you to see B negative in this particular place. But not to worry. I've also called another hospital, just that uh, it's a little bit far. It will take like two, three, four hours for us to get there. Uh, Dr. Oti, did you, did you say B negative? Yes, I said B negative. It's, it's a very rare, rare type to get. Well, I'm B negative, right? So take my blood right now and save that woman's life. Her tears is breaking my heart. Please. Are you, are you, are you, are you? Dr. Oti, I know exactly what I'm saying. I need you to take my blood. I am B negative. Save her life. Now. I, my prince, I, 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 need, I need some document for me to carry out whatever thing you want to do in this hospital. Dr. Oti, I'm ready to do whatever it takes. I need you to take my blood. I need her saved. All right, let's, let's go to the lab so that we can run some tests and ascertain. All right, all right, let's go. Her tears is breaking my heart. Alright, I'll call Dr. Desmond to... What baffles me is how that witch was able to escape from this kingdom without being noticed. She has not escaped. She's still within this community. Everyone in this land is aware that she's not permitted to leave. And if anyone sees her, the person is supposed to report to us. So she's within. Yeah. Ah. Uh -huh. But Uche Matthew, mm -hmm. I thought her father's compound is just next to your own compound. Couldn't you have been able to know what is going on? Hey, you don't know that witch. She is a very cunning witch. Listen, she came to me begging for water. I refused to give it to her. The next thing I saw, she fell to the ground and fainted. She lost consciousness. I dragged her back to Anaya's house. And that was the last I saw of her. <laughs> like a fox. She deceived you. And then you helped her escape. Hey. You should have dug the grave for her. Bury her immediately. Okay. Yes. Huh? Now she's alive. 
Hmm. Hmm. Well, I believe we can mobilize the youth to go and search for her. She's still within this community. Unless she now has the power to teleport herself out of this land. But wait, how do we mobilize the, the, the youth? Because, you know, how do we go about that? Call the youth leader. Yeah. Uh, where do you see him? You know, that call one him is. Call him on phone. You don't have call him on man. phone. Yes. He does not pick his calls, especially when he's doing the other thing that he used to do. Why him. not try to know? What are you talking you about? I'm telling you that. God, God, please. I want you to send my sister Chinelo. But she will not die. I come at Chinelo into your evil hands, please. Please protect her and save her life. You are the father to the fatherless, the mother to the motherless. She did not want to die in the name of Jesus. You Amen. Are... <laughs> Amen. You know, the concept of miracles is our everyday lifestyle. And I believe a miracle just happened to your sister in there. She will not die. <laughs> Thank you so much, my priest. You said she's a good person. Yes, she is. I need you to tell her to use my blue blood very well. To help as many people as she can. Hey. That's my card. I have settled every medical bill in there. But in case anything else comes up, don't hesitate to call me. My prince, my prince, my God will bless you. Amen. Truly, your angel sent from God to save our life. Amen. My God will keep you. Your enemies will never rejoice over you. Amen. You will live, you will not die, my prince. Amen. This you have done for Chin alone. You will never like in life. Amen. You will be the king. You will be above, not below. Amen. You will let the nation not to borrow. Amen. You will be the head and not the tail, my friend. My friend, thank you so much. Thank you for helping that lady at the hospital. She was in so much pain. Her pain was breaking my heart so much. I had to do what my heart directed me to do. Besides, what's the need of having all the money and material things without helping those who are in their need? You know, my prince, many would have given only money. But you didn't just give only money, my prince. You gave her life. God is the giver of life. I am just the element he used. Thank you so much, my prince, for making yourself available to be used. It's all right. Um, I need to I need to run now. I have errands to take care of. No problem, my prince. Thank you so much.
Sam. Father. This will now to you, Father. Thank you. Some the night is long and it is a prayer of a, a very good father to see the sun live longer than the night. Sun, may you live longer than the Obolo season. He say, your heart is heavy, but not with sorrow. But with the thought of a beautiful maiden, tell me, who is this maiden that has taken your heart to the stand of taking the prince of Umocho out of the comfort of his bed. Father, why are you so desperate for me to take a bride? Love is beautiful. Especially when it's done with pure heart. And I expected to see a medium with pure heart, just as you are. Well, Father, I was just thinking about the day's activities. But not to worry. I promise you very soon, I will present to you a woman that you will be proud of. Good. I love that. Do that. And I promise you my blessings. No matter who, the trap she comes from. Hmm? Yes, Father. Well, uh, I will retire to my chambers and advise you to do the same. Because the night is becoming lonely. And the spirit world is taking over the land. I'll do that, Father. Please do. Good night, night, son. This is a very fine house. Oh yes, it is a very, very fine place. No defacement, nothing. It is good. And that is why I'm going to sell it. Yes, I will sell it because, I mean, uh, uh, the, 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 there's no one remaining in Anayos' house. And you, Sam, my own son, hey, you have become so irresponsible and unstable. So, who am I keeping it for? I will sell it. Wait, wait, Papa. Hmm? I forgive you for calling me unstable. Uh -huh. But you see this thing you are saying now, Papa? But I don't even want to ask you why you want to sell this house in the first place. But you see this thing you are just saying now? Papa, if you try it, if you dare come close to this house to say that you want to sell this house, Papa, me and you, we are going to have a very big problem. Samuel! Papa! Samuel! Papa! Are you by any means warning me? No! Are you using the mouth with which you eat yam and kokoyam? Only jelly jelly You are using it to warn me. <laughs> Whether I am warning you or not, Papa, I just disseminated the information to you now. Because if you dare come close, this, clo uh, uh, close to this house to sell it, Papa, me and you, we are going to have a serious problem. I'm telling you now, we are going to have a serious problem. If you come close to this house, if you mess up, he mess you up now. Mama, 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 my dog is idiot. Look at him. I, uh, by the way, if I leave this house for you, what will you do with it? Uh -huh. That is a very beautiful question you have asked me now. Since I have known you as my father, this is the best question you have asked me. 
Now let me answer you now. You see this house? Hmm? The plans I have for this house, they are of good and not of evil. You understand me? Now, when I, I'm, go, I'm, I'm getting married very soon. When I get married, I will bring that my wife into this house. I'm not taking her into that your cubicle you call the house. You understand me? I will bring her here and we will do all the work like what we need to do. You understand me? Don't come close to this house, Papa. I am warning you. I am warning you now. Don't come close to this house, oh, because I'm going to now. Look at it. Now you have grown wings, eh? No, this third poem, you have suddenly grown so long a tail that you stand before me to talk to me this way. All right. You dare me! I'm happy. You don't have this chance. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> um, but Jane, before we go, the man you said that saved me, the prince. Okay. I would like to see him. At least let me say thank you before I go. Yeah. yeah. Let me see. I have to buy the church card so that I can call him. Oh, okay. He you actually have... gave me his card. Oh, he gave you his yes. card. Yes. Ah, so that I should call him in case if you need anything. Please do. Please do. Because my heart will not be at rest if I don't say thank you to this man before I go back to Umoji. Please. Before you go back to where? Umoji. Don't tell me you're going back to that cost land. Jim, why are you doing this now? Eh? Why not stay with me here in Umoji? Please. Jim, stop now. First of all, my father's land is not cursed. Mm. Then secondly, I have to go back to my father's house. I will not abandon it now. I'm not saying you should abandon your father's house. Eh? Huh? Come to think of it, your people are wicked. These people want you dead. Eh? Why you get Zendoge first? Anyway, let me go and buy the recharge card. When I come back, we'll discuss about it. Wow, I like you. Sam. Mm -hmm. Somewhere. Yes. Wait, oh. Wait, oh. So you mean you want to pack into this cost house? Hey. Eh? This house is not cost. Oh. This house is not cost. I've been telling you, Papa, that this house is not cost. It is not cost. Is it because the people staying in this house before, they, they, they had an unfortunate end? Mm. And you, my only brother, want to pack into this house. What if something happened to you? Hey, Goldie, nothing is going to happen to me. Stop instilling fear inside of me. Nothing is going to happen to me. Hey. I've already left that house for you and Papa to stay. What's this one? No, Papa said you should not come, you should not come here now. No, 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 this is my house. I'm cleaning my house. Allow me to stay in my house. See, Sam. Sam, Samuel. I know I'm saying this, so. By the time Chinelo will come with, with, with her colleague, eh? To attack you in the night. You, you understand what I'm saying? Nothing is going to happen to me. Do you understand me? Samuel, let's go. Let's go back to the house. Leave my house. I'm eh? cleaning my house. Let's, let's go. Shift now. Ah! Shift now. Take it easy now. Leave my house, so I'm sweeping my house. Leave my house now. Yeah. Sam, Sam, leave this thing. Let's go. Let's go back to the house. Leave my house. Leave. Go. I'm a rachine. Hey. This is the hero that saved you. <laughs> Thank you so much, sir. You're welcome. Thank you. So how are you feeling now? I feel much better. 
That's all thanks to you. <laughs> all thanks to God. Mm, yes. Yeah. And um, I also want to say, I am deeply sorry for what I said to you the other day. You actually said nothing wrong. I mean, anyone in your condition would have done worse. Huh? Yes. I would have done worse too. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy you're strong. You know, looking at you then, I felt my whole life has been... But now, girl! <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy. Back to what we were saying. Um, there is no justification for what I said to you. I shouldn't have said that to anyone. Nobody deserves that. And for that, I am truly sorry. For like I always say, you can never tell from whom or where your miracle will come from. And now look at it. It's all right. Um, you didn't tell me your name. Oh, my name is Chinelo Ndigwe. Chinelo Ndigwe. It gladdens my heart that you're better now. And I'm happy I could be of help. I need you to remember this day. And never forget to help people who are in need. I will never. Good. I've learned a great lesson from everything that happened. All right. I need to go see Dr. Oti in his office, clear some bills, and then come back to take you to, to wherever you're going to. Are you serious? Of course I'm serious. You're going to take us home? I will. <sighs> Thank, Thank you very you. much. You're welcome. God, God bless, bless you. you, sir. You're welcome. God bless you. You're welcome. Thank you. I'll be right back. Okay. He's cute. Really cute. Ginger store. Of everything in the world to see, this is what you're seeing. Oh, well, you know he's cute now. Uh, why are you pretending? Have you part? Why is she running? Just forget about her. Meanwhile, you're welcome to my father's house. Should I say my late father's house? Oh yes, your friend told me you're the only survivor of your parent. Such a tragic story. I'm so sorry. I was actually at the verge of joining them before you came and pulled me out. I. You're not going to die. You need to stay alive to continue the family legacy. All right? My prince. Thank you, my prince. You're welcome. Thank you so much. God You're bless welcome. you. You're, You're welcome. such a good man. Our people are lucky to have a prince like you. Yes, we are. Are you from Omochi? Yes, my prince. Oh, wow. We're ready to be precise. That's good to know. <laughs> you know, it's actually nice. I have a great friend like her. Yes, it is. Ah. <laughs> All right, let me help you in time. Okay, thank you. Thank you. you. Ah. I see. Come, Sammy. I don't understand what this was. I cannot know, Gabriel. I want to reach my friend. I don't know what is wrong. What? Ah. Hi. Let's do this. Data. I subscribed one you a few days ago. This thing used to stop plenty data. Hey! Nah. Okay. Okay. What is it? Why are you running like someone that's, that, that's seen a ghost? Papa, I have indeed seen a ghost. I've seen a ghost too. Eh? See, I saw uh, uh, Chinelo and her friend. They are back. And they came back with one handsome man that seemed royalty. That is not possible. It's not possible. Listen, that girl can never set her feet anywhere in this kingdom. Not to talk about our own kindred. It's not possible. 
I will tear her. I will struggle her. I will, I will eat her raw. Egodi, are you sure about this thing you are saying? You know sometimes I don't trust the way you talk. Oh, I'm telling you the truth. Now what do you mean by are you sure? I'm telling you what I saw. Eh? Okay, if you are doubting me, let's go so you see it with your eyes. It's not but I don't believe you. Forget about that. Forget about that. It's not possible. Uh, I saw them. Uh, come, let me go and show you. No, really, can you imagine? They've already moved, moved their things into my father's house. I am going to throw everything out of this house. What I am doing? taking it all out. What are you still waiting for? Throw everything out. It's your father's house. Throw them out. I'm Jane. I, I think you should hold on to that. Leave everything as they are until the person who kept them there comes back for it. But that is not nice now. It's looking like they, they've always wanted everybody in this house to, 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 to die. Exactly. Like they wanted us all dead so they can take over. Let it be as I've said. There's a reason I said that. Okay? Uncle, good afternoon. What is good about that? Tell me what is good. Where is he? So. What are you doing here? You finally came back to this house, eh? I know you're the owner of those things inside my father's house. Please, I don't want trouble. Just quietly go in there and pick it all up and get out. Please go and carry everything you left inside that house out of here, else I would throw it out. Ha! You will not do any nonsense. You will not throw anything away. This is my house. I'm here to stay. Look, I only came to confirm that you are actually the one she saw. But I'll come for you. I will! I'll... And who are those people? They're not um, happy to see her. My prince. That is our late father's elder brother and his children. They hate us so much with passion. My prince, I wish I had the power of the gods. I would have turned them into stones. But what really happened? Why the obvious hostility? Believe me, right? But what I don't understand is what is beating this drum for this girl. Eh? Where did she get her powers from? Something is not right. Something is just not right there. Wait. Where is that young man? And uh, who is he coming for? Ginello or her friend? Papa, I think that man came for her friend. Because there is no way Ginello, that witch, can attract such a man. It's not possible now. This is not right at all. Oh. oh, Papa. Papa, what are we going to do now? now? Eh? What are we going to do? I can't lose that house too. And I can't even lose my things too. I can't go there to get my things. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Papa, say something now. Papa. Sorry. I mean, this is not fair, eh? Tomorrow morning, we are returning those things to them. No one can take your house. No one can take your place. This is your father's house. I know those things belong belong to Sam. Tomorrow I'll take them back myself. I'll take it back. Are you sure? <coughs> sorry, sorry. It's 9 p.m. already. The, yeah, it must be the prince. You know you promised to call it tonight. Take it. Yes. 
Hello? <laughs> right on time. <laughs> you know, I was scared you might have gone to bed. No, I was I was just taking my drugs. Though I was thinking you were not going to call again. I thought maybe the grills of royalty had had made you forget. I'm an honorable man. I keep to my words. Hmm? Wow. You are not just kind at heart. You are also a sweet tongue. I mean, you have your way with words. Well, I'm just saying the truth. Honestly, I'm happy I got to hear your voice before going to bed. If not, I would have had a nightmare. <laughs> you're not serious. Gosh, you're such a funny person. <laughs> of course I am. So, how was your day today? I hope your uncle didn't come after you after I left. No, my day was good. My day was good. He didn't come after you left, though I am expecting him anytime soon. Oh, that's good. So, um, can we go out for dinner this weekend? I want us to talk about life in general. You want to take me out for dinner? Um, oh, okay, okay, tomorrow evening I will do you the honors. <laughs> now I can finally go to bed. Good night. <laughs> Good night, my prince. So what is in love? <laughs> my chief, I'm so happy you're happy. <laughs> do you not do who is she and is she from this kingdom? Well, no, she is not. You know I hate it when you cry in my private life, eh? Sorry. This bag. Biogini, why are you my father's house shouting like a mad dog? Yara, you are gonna see me. Eh? Are you mad? When you are done ranting like a foolish girl that you are, because I know you, you've been mad before. Ara Pupugogi before. Carry these rags. Tell your brother when he comes back that I don't want to see anything that looks like this in my father's house again. The tone down that will strike you, eh? Can I make press up? Hmm. If not, the car, Ara could go see me. If I say I go there, I go there. Don't that fire you, in fact, may the ghost turn you to imbecile for calling my brother's clothes right. Are, are you okay? Okay, make sure you know when you're done raving mad like a dog. Pack this nonsense, hey. these rags, and give it to your brother and tell him I don't want to see him in my father's compound again. And please, pass this message to your father and your brother. Tell them that that house belongs to my father. That is my inheritance and I plan on keeping it. In mm. your, 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 your inheritance, if you are there, Megi. Inheritance in them more. Turn that fire you dear. Can you can you imagine this nonsense? In fact, go and call your late mother, eh? Your late father, Prax. Anyway, I don't blame you, sir. I, I don't blame you. I blame my brother for carrying carrying his back to, to, to your stupid house. E, 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 Congo, idiot. Eh? Rubbish. Let me see you here again. E, 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 Congo. Idiot.
Mary, thank you. But the rate at which you're beginning to shop for me, it's becoming too much. I think you should slow down. Well, I don't know how this happened, but I've fallen deeply in love with you. And I'm sure you have also for me. Listen, if this must happen, then you have to change your wardrobe. At least look presentable when I introduce you to His Majesty, my father. I know, but it's becoming too much. I mean, all these clothes. It's too much. Your beautiful soul and you this. All right? Let's go. Thank you. You said uh, there is something you want to discuss with me. Can I hear it? <sighs> Papa, it's about Chinelo. Chinelo? What about Chinelo? Why is she still free? Doing whatever she likes. When she is supposed to be suffering for the pain she caused her parents and the land of Umuji. Besides, I thought she was ostracized. So why is she still having visitors? And who is that girl that has been staying with her all this while? Ah, you see, my daughter. Yes, Chinelo was ostracized. In fact, she remains ostracized today. But she managed to make friends who are actually not from Umoji. I don't know who they are. I've not seen them before. I don't even know where they're coming from. But that goes to show one thing. She is a very strong witch. Yes. Papa, we must do something to stop her. <laughs> what can we do? Yes. We must do something to stop Chinelo. She's waxing strong by the day. And I hate to see that after killing her parents, she is still roaming around Umoji. Eh? Without even a slap on, his, on her wrist. We need to do something. We need to do something. Uh -uh. Son, father, you said there is something you want to tell us. Go ahead and say it. Oh yes, um, mom, dad. You two have always wanted me to present a maiden who will serve as my bride. Yes. Because, you know, growing up, we have never seen you with any woman outside your sister here. Well, I've got good news. I have found the woman I want to make my bride. Really? Yes, really. Although she's not from this kingdom, but she's the one I'm in love with. The one who sends butterflies to my stomach. Wow! <laughs> That's good news. Bring her in. Let her pass through the sanctity in a session. Yes. If she passes, then give her the royal ring. I'll do that, Father. <laughs> Remember, mm. I told you that I won't mind the tribe she comes from. 
as long as you two love each other, she's free to be your bride. Thank you. Once she passes the sanctity initiation. <laughs> Thank you very much, Father. I'm so happy. You're going to tell your brother? Of course I will. I, I hope he comes back before time. Not to worry. I will convince him he will come back. <laughs> but you have to bribe me. You better do. Oh my God, this <laughs> Thank this you. The best, the best news. Oh my, I'm so happy. This is the biggest <laughs> news of the century. Yes. <laughs> uh. Matthew, my brother. There is this question I've been wanting to ask you. Concerning this constant visit of strangers to your niece's house. I'm talking about uh, Chinelo. You've been so quiet and silent about this whole thing. And even when they know that she is an outcast, and I'm beginning to feel uncomfortable. Well, my brother, they know she is an outcast. Yet, they continue to align themselves with her. <laughs> yeah, as far as I'm concerned, the river does not swallow Anyone, it does not see his or her legs at his banks. But you understand? Not done. I'm coming. I'm not done yet. Yeah? I want you to listen carefully before you uh, respond to what I am saying. You see, if these people continue to go there, they put themselves in danger. My hands are not there. I am not the one to go and stop them. Are you saying we should let them be, even as they continue to defy our land by associating with her? I wonder. What are you going to do? No, what are you going to do? Are you going to fight for the gods? Listen, in our country, Nigeria, there is freedom of speech, freedom of association, freedom of movement. You just sit back and let the gods fight for us. That is all I want us to do. The, see, you cannot rise to fight for the gods now. Yeah, the government will come for you. So let us let them be, please. I can't believe you are the one saying this. I can't believe it at all. But like as the saying goes, he who wears the shoe knows where he pinches him. For that, I will just allow you. Exactly, mm. the chair movie. Mm -hmm. But if you ask me, mm. I will suggest we mobilize the youths. To stop them from coming here to visit that woman. I don't have a hand in that too. Hey. <laughs> I don't. Because if this leads to trouble, and the tr one trouble leads to another trouble, and continuously like that, I will not come out to answer for anybody. <laughs> if you want yeah. to mobilize the youths, of course you are a, 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 a oh. member of the cabinet. Oh no. I called you both to let you know that my son, Prince Kennedy, will be bringing a woman that pleases his heart to the throne. And she will pass through the test of sanctity and purification. Um, son, before that day, your bride will come a day before a gay. And you must try to avoid meeting her. Because it's a taboo for the groom to meet the bride before she is sanctified by Nuku, the custodian of fertility. You know she's coming for the sanctification and the purification. Very important. I, I still don't get it. You want me to get married? Mm -hmm. And yet I'm not supposed to see my bride until the initiation is completed. How is that even possible? It, might be, it may not be possible to you or even make sense to you, but that is the tradition. I did it with your father here. And our love story is the best in the entire kingdom. Her son. Oh, look who we have here! It's not on my son. I'm <laughs>
Am I too late for the meeting? <laughs> Mona. My God, you didn't tell me you were coming. How are you? Look at, Bro. Look at you, guy. Yeah. Look at my son. Oh my God. Oh my God. What <laughs> wouldn't <laughs> Maswell, <laughs> you're welcome. Thank you. It's a Oh, seriously, bro, I'm so happy you came back. Oh, come on, huh? <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's your special day. Yeah. You don't expect me to miss a day like this. <laughs> you know, at the time, I started wondering if you actually ordained to be a priest. Oh, come on, bro. You know, that's not possible. It's uh, impossible, man. <laughs> so why did it take you so long to start mixing up with ladies? Discipline, I guess. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I got in touch with some of your cosmates and I asked them. Some said that you were gay. Why some said that you are important? Oh, come on, bro. Come on, bro. You four people know that is impossible. Uh, impossible. Uh, I, can't, I can't do that, man. <laughs> anyway, I'm so happy for you. So happy for you. Of course. Cheers. And I'm so glad it came. Huh? <laughs> Cheers, huh? One love. <laughs> mm. So, um, what about you? I mean, what are your future plans? Oh, have you started it already? So let me say, after you are sad, <laughs> I, I will get one, you know? Fix yourself, yeah? You know, now. <laughs> I couldn't get one over there when I went for my master's. So I decided to come home to look for one. Well, I say look for one. If the girls are by my side, let me see if I will continue with the one. I groomed before I traveled. You groomed? Oh, yeah. Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> I look forward to that. <laughs> Thanks, bro. I'm so happy for you once again. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> My princess, given the fact that your brother has finally found whom to marry, don't you think it is right for me to go back to my hometown? Why are you in a haste to leave? I don't know you to be a quitter, Rosie. Your brother is taken already, and there's nothing left for me in the palace. My brother is not taken until that lady passes the secret initiation test. Even if she does, Maswell is still there. Maswell, my brother, is more free and fun to be with than Ken. Believe me. I made a fool of myself before Ken. And I won't make that same mistake with Maswell. I won't. Moreover, he looks like a Casanova. Oh no, my brother is not like that. My father trained us properly. Besides, it's not someone that uses and dumps his girls up and down. So, this time around, you're going to step up your game. If you were here, you need to level it up. It's fine. So, promise. I promise. I'm going to give you tips. Oh, well, let's okay. go. <laughs> My daughter, you yes, are welcome to the palace of His Royal Majesty, King Onochie of Umuchu Kingdom. Thank you, Your Majesty. I am truly honored. So please, can you tell us a little about yourself? My name is Chine Luana Ndigwe, the only child of late Ana Ndigwe of Umweri in Umuji Kingdom. Your parents are late? Yes, Your Majesty. They died early this year. Ah, oh, so, so sorry about the loss of your parents. Hmm? Thank you, so, Your Majesty. Um, please tell me, are you a graduate? Yes, Your Majesty, I am a graduate. I studied chemical engineering in the University of Nigeria, Suka. Oh, oh, okay. You're welcome. Thank you, Your Majesty. Mm. 
Udene Bajano, Manatu Adafu Udene, Imani Femre na Bende Mo. Akaba leze kudene, akaba leze kudene kwa mwa chiri yaza. Ifi kenge bulu di kare wu, di kife di bia di karo feke. Makana tolo malo mala tolo feko fe yi sinyo fya. Ebu bebi ke. Go in, if you don't want to go blind. Because no who is here. Welcome, the great Noku. Welcome, the great Noku. Shinelu, may your light shine and chase away every darkness in Umushu kingdom. May it brighten the entire kingdom to the glory of the gods. May the gods prove to me that you are the virgin that truly deserves the prince. Are you sure she's going to pass the test and get initiated? Relax. Even the gods, those high potent she is to you. She will pass the test. Huh? Come to think of it, how did you meet this lady? Because I know you're not into women. Uh, what do you mean, I'm not into women? Did I tell you I was into men? <laughs> well, I I met her in one of my charity outings. Oh, yeah. Okay. Come on, the light.
No. How did it go? The eagle is set to fly high, Your Majesty. My part is finished here. I only await the cry of the baby. <gasps> that means she passed the sanctity and initiation test. Yes. She is pure now and has been duly initiated. Let the gods be praised. Your Majesty, elders of the Royal Council, last night, the bride that Prince Kennedy brought for initiation and purification passed the Royal Sacred Test. With His Majesty's permission, I present to you, Miss Chinelo. My princess, please unveil her. Is this you? What's going on here? You two know each other? She, she's the love of my life. Huh? What? You're not serious. She's a woman. Where's she running? Chinelo! Chinelo! Hey, God. What is going on? Why is she burning? I don't know. Thought she passed through the sanctity initiation. Yes, she did, according to Nufu. So why then is she running away? And why is Prince Maxwell chasing after her? Do I know? I don't know. Your Majesty. Oh no. The drama that happened some minutes ago is highly embarrassing. And you told us that uh, the maiden passed the sanctity initiation test. Now, what is happening? Huh? I just don't get it. Neoku confirmed to me that she is pure. That my son should go ahead and marry her. I'm, I'm as surprised as you are at what just happened. Your Majesty, hey. with all due respect, you have to issue an order and have that maiden brought to this palace for clarification. Because this kind of thing that just happened has never happened in this kingdom before. Ah. Besides, I even heard that she's not from our own so we really have to do something. We have to do something. This little maiden cannot come here and embarrass the, 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 the throne of our forefathers just like that. She must have to come here and explain to us what has happened. She must come and explain. Well, wherever she is, she must be brought back here to present herself before us. Kennedy, search for her, bring her back here to explain to us what happened today. Have I made myself clear? <sighs>
Maxwell. What was that display out there? What history do you have with my fiancé? I am sorry, Kennedy. Chinelo is my love. I groomed her for marriage before I traveled overseas for my master's degree. What nonsense are you talking about? Groomed? For what exactly? I didn't say that I was grooming her. I said that I groomed her. That is to say, I made that the woman she is today. My love, I want you to assure me that you're still the same virgin that I met years back. That you're still intact. No one has ever touched you. You know you have asked me this question more than 1,000 times since we started dating. And I want you to answer me 1,000 times that I've asked you the same question. Do you know why I always ask you this question? No. There is a tradition in my place and that tradition forbids me to touch a woman that I'm supposed to make my wife until she becomes mine. There is a, a ritual you're going to go through. And before you go through that ritual, she must be a virgin. This is why I haven't touched you for months. Wow. Well, I am still a virgin. And I promise you, I am willing to remain this way until you're ready to take me to your bed. I promise. <sighs> to be candid with you, I love you so much. And I'm ready to go physical. And I abusive and aggressive to anyone who crosses my path. <laughs> <laughs> I know that's what you're about to say, right? You don't need to worry. Hmm? Don't worry about anything. Believe me when I say I am ready to stay this way to you whenever you're ready. And that's a promise. No man no man will ever see my nakedness. That I promise you. Thank you so much. No, you thank you. Thank you for bringing so much happiness into my life. Thank you for giving my life a meaning. I love you. And I love you too. <laughs> Let's um, let's go to the car. Let me give you money for upkeep. Okay. You worry too much. The one no. you give me is still remains. No, I still need to give you more. Okay. Baby, I still have enough. And I insist. Okay. Please say so. All right. Okay. 